On the picture, you see Marina and Olga. Marina and Olga are students, and uh, as you see, they're reading. Well, let's, let's learn how to build some short sentences. How would you say, Marina is student? In Russian, it would be simply, Marina student. Marina studentka. Ma ri na stu de na t k. Marina studentka. And um, I want you to learn a new word. It would be also. Тоже. So, Marina is student. But Olga is also student. How would you say Olga is also student? In Russian it would be Olga also student. Olga тоже студентка. Olga тоже студентка. Olga тоже студентка. And uh, do you remember how to say Marina is reading? In Russian it would be Marina reading. Marina читает. Marina читает. Marina читает. And uh, try to guess how to say Olga is also reading. In Russian it would be Olga also reading. Olga тоже читает. Olga тоже читает. Olga тоже читает. And uh, do you remember how to say good or bad? Good would be хорошо and bad плохо. Хоро. Шо and плохо. Плохо. So, Marina is reading well. Marina is reading good. How would you say Marina is reading good? It would be Marina читает хорошо. Marina чи Тает хорошо. Хо ро шо. Хорошо. This is о. Марина читает хорошо. And um, let's learn a new verb. Understanding. How would you say Марина понимает хорошо? So. You guessed probably, понимает is understanding. Marina понимает хорошо. Marina understanding well. Marina понимает хорошо. Marina понимает хорошо. This is P. Marina понимает хорошо. And how would you say Olga is also understanding well? Olga also understanding well. Olga тоже. Тоже понимает хорошо. Хо. Ром. Шо. Now Marina and Olga want to speak. And Olga is asking Marina, what are you doing? Что ты делаешь? What you doing? Что ты делаешь? Что ты делаешь? 
And uh, Marina is asking, I'm reading. Я читаю. I reading. Я читаю. Я читаю. And she wants to say, she wants to tell that she's reading in Russian. So she says, Я читаю по-русски. Я читаю по-русски. Я читаю по-русски. And uh, Olga is surprised. She, she wants to clarify it. She's asking, you reading in Russian? Are you reading in Russian? It would be, ты читаешь по-русски? Ты, meaning you, читаешь по Ru-s-s-ki. And here, Olga is emphasizing on по-русски. She wants to know that if she's actually reading in Russian. So she asks, ты читаешь по-русски? Can you hear the intonation raise in, at the word, which is interesting for Olga? Ты читаешь по-русски? Are you reading in Russian? You reading Russian? And she answers, yes, да. Well, but um, Olga is also reading in Russian. That, so she tells, she, she tells her, uh, I'm also reading in Russian. How would she tell this? I also reading Russian. She's telling, я тоже чи Таю по русски. Русски. Я тоже читаю по русски. And uh, Olga wants to know from Marina, is she understanding what she is reading? And she asks her, do you understand? Understanding would be понимаешь. So Olga is asking, ты понимаешь? You understanding? Ты понимаешь? Ты понимаешь? And Marina says, yes, да. So let's let's exercise a little bit. How would you say what are you doing? Что ты делаешь? And remember, intonation rises at что and continues standard along with the sentence. Что ты делаешь? What are you doing? And the answer would be I'm reading. How would you say I'm reading? In Russian it's I reading. Я читаю. And uh, how would you clarify? I'm reading in Russian. Я читаю по русски. And um, try to sound surprised and ask, are you reading Russian? Ты читаешь по русски? And answer yes. I learned how to write, how to read Russian, and I'm reading in Russian. Да. And how would you say? Yes, I'm reading Russian. You, s you would say, да. Я читаю по русски. Русски. Да, я читаю по русски. And how would you say, I'm also reading in Russian. I also read in Russian. Я тоже читаю по-русски. Also would be тоже. 
And how would you ask, do you understand what you're reading? It would be, ты понимаешь? You understanding? And the answer, yes, would be, да. Again, how would you say understanding? Понимаешь? And how would you say you understanding? Ты понимаешь? And how would you put it into question? Do you understand? Are you understanding? It would be ты понимаешь? 